What's good guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Last time, we made it here to Veilstone City, and in this episode we're probably going to be taking on the Veilstone City Gym, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, as you guys saw off screen, it was, I did some training at my favorite training spot, and as you guys can see, Mufasa has now evolved into a powerful Luxray at level 30, and it's looking very, very good stat-wise actually, so could do with a bit of improving on moves, but I'm sure that will improve over time, or improve over time. And as you guys all saw, Zubat Woman evolved from a Golbat into a Crobat. So yeah, that's really good. That's going to be really good for the gym, because the next gym is a fighting type gym, which uh, Zubat Woman quad resists with its typing. So yeah, we'll probably be taking on that gym in this episode. But first, we are going to explore uh, this new city. So let's just head around here and talk to people and see if we can get any good stuff. Can't remember if there's many good things in this uh, in this city. But uh, we can always do a bit of exploring and then go to the gym. So, let's see. Uh, this guy wants to give a Porygon, so I guess we can take that as our encounter if we want. But uh, we don't have any room, so I guess I can come back and get that later. And that can be our encounter for Veilstone City, because there's no wild grass and stuff. Which is good, so I mean, that's our guaranteed encounter. So we get a Porygon, and Porygon's kind of cool. 
So yeah, I have no problem accepting a Porygon. But uh, yeah, I've been like, I was training on my Pokemon in my favorite training spot, and I was kind of hoping that uh, my Buneary would evolve as well into Lopunny, just for the sake of having one. But unfortunately, it didn't, and that's fine. I was checking like the happiness by the uh, the app on the Pokech, where it lets you like click on your Pokemon and see how many hearts they have and stuff. And uh, when I saw that Zubat Woman had two, I was like, all right, may as well give it the uh, the Soothe Bell. Which I originally had on my, uh, Boneary, but, yeah, it turned out it was better for me to give it the, uh, well, give that the, yeah, you know what I mean, give Zubat Woman the thingy, I can't, I can't even remember his name, give it the, I just said it, the Soothe Bell. <sighs> Alright, but, but. <laughs> I get so disappointed in myself when I forget stupid stuff. I don't think there is anything in this mart, as far as I can remember, but I'm gonna check it out anyway. Because, why not, you know, we could get a, a Chimchar mask. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's worthwhile, it's, it's good to pick up. <laughs> it's not really though, but... Uh, yeah, I don't care about all this stuff. Um, what are you selling over here? Why is there like three people here? Oh, you're the X person. You are the, uh, the protein person. And you are just the regular, like, super potion and stuff, right? Oh, no, you're not. You're the counter app. Okay. Don't know what- I don't even remember what that does, but- Oh, can we use the count up to 9.99? Okay. Uh, totally care about that. This person over here is the super potion person, I assume. Or, nope. Okay, never mind. Then, why is the- The drugs part on, like, the- The second floor? Isn't that meant to be on the- Oh, wait, that was probably on the bottom floor. And here we have TM, so we have Reflect Light Screen, Fault Swipe, Protect, Natural Gift, Flash, Safeguard, not the greatest TMs, uh, what ones are you selling, you selling anything better? And over here we have uh, Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Solar Beam, Focus Blast, and Hyper Beam. Definitely the more powerful, but hey, I mean, getting uh, Reflect and stuff may not be too bad, I suppose, and... Alright, so I keep forgetting that there's a person in this mart that just says what's well, recommended and stuff, which I kind of know what I'm here to buy, which is nothing, but here's some, uh, I don't remember that, that there's no secret bases, so that's just for, uh, stuff, I guess, and, uh, just for your room or whatever, which I guess is kind of cool, I suppose, and, uh, yeah, there's, like, nothing here, really, so far, there's been nothing I want to get. But we're on the top floor now, so we'll just see what's happening over here. We got two guys, two buff guys standing side by side. This guy's gonna give you the sticky bar, but which is an item that, uh, if you trick it to your opponent, it actually hurts the Pokemon that's getting hurt. So it hurts the Pokemon that's getting hurt. No, it hurts the Pokemon that's holding it. So yeah, sticky bar is definitely an item that you want to use by using the move trick, and that way. Or you want to use, like, by, if you use the move trick, you want to use Sticky Bar, because that means you're, it's like, I think it's, I, I always think it's like 12% every time, but I don't know if it actually is for that. But yeah, your Pokemon can, you can, like, give, you can damage your opponent by just using Trick, which I guess is sort of cool, because you give them a Sticky Bar. I make things sound so much more complicated than they actually are to say, I really do. Anyway, over on here, there should be a uh, hidden item I could get out the dowsing machine. Actually, the dowsing machine app, so let me flick through my apps here on the Poketch. And actually, there it is over here, so I don't need to go to that. So there's our candy and stuff. The, like, the Poketch is on the bottom screen, so that's why you guys can't see it. But all I usually have is the one where my like Pokemon are all moving around on the screen and stuff, so I can like check happiness and... Stuff like that. Alright, so, uh, Team Galactic just chilling here. You have Fly stored in the warehouse. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see what's in here. This is like the. Yeah, this is where you, like, trade your coins for stuff. This guy can tell you what your hidden power, the hidden power your Pokemon will have, so that's cool. You guys will check Epona. And it would have the hidden power ghost. Sort of cool, I guess. So I know if it's Hidden Power Dark, your Pokemon has like 31 IVs in every stat. That's how Hidden Power is, uh... That's how Hidden Power is calculated, or like the type is calculated by the IVs your Pokemon has. And IVs, you can't actually see what IVs are, so... 
going to that guy is probably, uh, but not the probably, it is the way to check your IVs in a sense, because you can just look up what IVs are for what type, then I guess, but you can't, like, determine without talking to that guy and him telling you what hidden power your Pokemon has. So, we only have two more houses to go into, and this guy gives us TM63, I didn't even see, what, did he tell us what it is? It is, uh, Embargo, so we can't use items. Or your opponent can't use items if you use Embargo, so I guess that's interesting. This person here is gonna give your Pokemon a massage, and you would definitely give this to Pokemon that evolves by happiness, for example, Hopper. And I'll actually check how many hearts Hopper has after this, so... Got the homing note, and, uh, yeah, can you stop talking? I need to check my Buneary. Real quick, and Bunny. Okay, Bunny here, he still has only one heart. That sucks. I was kind of hoping it would have two, and that way I could give it like the experience share and it would evolve into Lop Bunny, but that's fine, I guess. Doesn't matter. Anyway, here we got this uh, coin guy. If you guess the right hand, he will give you the coin case. So, if you want to go do some gambling. Actually, I don't think there is gambling in this game. You have to buy the coins. I mean, like, what's the point? You have to buy the coins, it doesn't make sense. But, uh, here's uh, Lucas. Hey, Stuina, are you going to take on the gym? Wow, you just keep getting tougher and tougher. Me? Well, I took a look at the game corner and, I mean, yeah, of course I've been working on my Pokedex, but, anyway, keep it up. The ring is my rolling sea. The towering wave shaped me. Crash, crash, crash your wake. Crash, crash, crash your wake. On the tidal wave of power to wash you away. Put out the fire. Crash your wake. Run from electricity. Crash your wake. Ah, ah, ah. The ring is my sea. And here comes my favorite gym leader. Hello, dude and young lady. You're challenging the, po the gym leader, are you? Let me tell you now. She's young, but she's a born genius. I tried training with her, and I was stunned by how tough she was. Whoops. I'd better tell you who I am. I'm the triple threat gym leader in Pokemon, wrestling, and song. I'm Crash Awake of Pastoria Gym. We'll meet again. I love Crash Awake. I like wrestling a lot, so I love Crash Awake. So, uh, yeah, Stuina, good luck with the Pokemon Gym. Okay, thank you, I suppose. But yeah, we're gonna head into the gym, and, uh, yeah, this is done, so let's do this thing. Hey there, how's it going, Champ to be? The gym leader is a user of fighting type Pokemon. She'd be a terror against normal type Pokemon, and this is a big butt, but just between you and me, Maylene, the gym leader, said flying type and psychic type Pokemon could be real trouble for her. If you want to battle her, smack the punching bags along the rails. You have to hit those bags hard. Alright, so, uh, yeah, you need to push these bags. I pushed that one the wrong way because I meant to get to here and push it over here. And it will smash those tires that are blocking your path and stuff. So you can head up here and take on this dude. Have a little bit of a rumble in the jungle in this uh, in this gym. So he's got a Machoke on level 23 and uh, we will just fling wheel that. That's a 2 kill and we got a burn, excellent. Even though I don't know if this thing has guts, so we'll just stomp it and knock it out. Another Machoke, level 25 this time. So getting slightly stronger, which getting a little bit more intimidating. And <laughs> that low kicked a lot too, it did about half. So. Go out into Zubat Woman, because we do wall uh, machokes, basically. So yeah, we'll just take it out with two wing attacks. And that's it. So let's uh, push this up here. And uh, let's give it another push, because we didn't push it hard enough. And uh, push this one too. And let's use a... Uh, Moo Moo Milk, because or even a super. Uh, this is a super potion. We only lost 40 HP, so we'll use it. Or 39 HP, so we'll use a super potion. Get our health back. And take on this dude next. I think this guy is all my chokes. Or not my chokes, all my chops this time. The other guy had all my chokes. This guy's all my chops. From what I can remember. And uh, Flame Meal get to burn again, which is great, because usually these things have like no guard. So this guy is a Metatite. Uh. Um, stay in. Could be risky, but we'll stay in. That was very risky, but doesn't matter. We uh, we lived so. Zubat woman, and Zubat woman is gonna be doing a lot of work in the gym because I mean it's my wrong button. It's like it's my resistance to uh, 
fighting type, so I mean, it's definitely the best thing I could possibly use. Anyway, go along here and uh, push this over here. We don't even need to do this, but we'll do it anyway. And push this one over here. And over here. And I can't remember, is this the end of the rail? Uh, nope, we can push it over this way too. Knock that one out of the way. And then take on this dude. So, the Karate Quad. Oh, but, wow, okay, the Karate Quad. So, he's got a Krogunk, which we critical hit it. So, very lot of hacks and he pwned on the first Pokemon at least. Which is good news, I suppose. And we'll we can attack this and to it KO it. So, there we go. And nearly level 31, but not quite. And now we're at the real sort of puzzly part because you need to like sort of figure this puzzle out a little bit and it's kind of tedious because I kind of forget how you do it and that's probably not great so uh yeah take on this dude I think this is actually the last train we have to battle too so I mean that's not bad he's a Heracross I don't know why I said like that he's a Heracross and then we'll stomp it and squash that bug and your opponent's just doing all the work even though I said that it would probably be, uh, probably be Zubat Woman's Gym, but, I mean, if Epona can get the job done, Epona can get the job done. And actually, I actually remember what I'm supposed to do now, so I need to push this over here. Yeah, it's actually an easy puzzle. I don't know how I thought I got confused. I knew how to do it, or I know how to do it, so. This one goes down here. This one goes around and up. I'm pretty sure this is right, so... Yeah, that's perfect. So, we'll come up here and push this one over. And there we go. Path has been freed up. So, all the way around, there is Maylene. Uh, need to push this over this way, too. Didn't even notice the things blocking the stairs. But there we go, and give it one last push. So it's all the way over there and not in my way. And, uh, yeah, let's just take a look at the team. Uh, let's go with Zubat Woman to lead off, I suppose. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Maylene, and I'm the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong, or how I got to be the gym leader. But I'll do my best as I can as a gym leader. I take battling very seriously, whenever you're ready. Alright, so, here we have the fourth gym leader in the game. This is Maylene, and she's the user of fighting type Pokemon. She's gonna lead off with her level 28 Metatite. And that is not too big a problem for our Zubat one. We do outspeed it, and I think a wing attack should kill it, because Metatite doesn't have the greatest defenses. So I mean, yeah, that was not too worrying really. Could have been a lot worse, but that went perfectly fine. As Zubat Woman hits 100 HP, which is pretty sweet. Next up is Machoke, and Machoke is on level 29, just a little bit stronger, but not too much. And what we're going to do is we can attack that as well, and do well over half, so that's a 2-hit KO, which is great. As the thing carries the Rock Tomb, but luckily for me it misses. And uh, the Hacks Gods, once again, shining down on us in the gym, as we are able to knock out the Machoke with a with another wing attack, as I'd say single, but it was two. Finally, her signature Pokemon is her Lucario. What we're going to do is go to Mufasa. And the reason we're going to go to Mufasa is because I want to get an Intimidate off on this thing. So, yeah, we'll just Intimidate that uh, that Lucario a little bit. We can down its attack. It is level 32. So we do want that thing to be reduced down a little bit. And what we're going to do is go right back out into Zubat Woman. And, uh, yeah. I don't know if Zubat Woman is my best switch, but it is actually because I, like, I resist everything, so... I don't see why not. I mean, that's at 5 HP. It does get the process, though, which sucks, but... I don't know what this thing can do to me. I can't remember what moves it has, for one, but I don't think it does anything crazy, so... We'll just get rid of that paralysis anyway, because Force Palm paralysis sucks, and paralysis in, in general just sucks. As, uh, it's gonna go for... Oh, it's Metal Claw, okay. How much is that gonna do? Quite a lot. Quite a lot, and it got an attack boost too, so that sucks. Uh, yeah, that critical hit Gen definitely sucked. 
But now it's at stock, well not anymore, it's at minus one now because I just got an Intimidate off. And we are able to resist this Metal Claw here, so not a problem. Uh, I kind of want to make a ballsy move and go out into damage, but I don't think it can take a hit, so... I could go with Tungsten, I don't know what it does to Tungsten either. Probably nothing. Uh, that's Metal Claw. Uh, oh wait, it's Bone Rush, doesn't it? And, uh, I don't have Levitate, I have, uh, Heat Proof, so we're gonna go back to Zubat Woman, just in case it wants to hit me with the Bone Rush. I'm pretty sure that's what I have, or Bone Club even, so... Yeah, I'd rather not... Oh, there's Drain Punch, so Drain Punch, uh, Metal Claw, Force Palm. It doesn't, it has Bone Rush, doesn't it? I feel like it does. I feel like I'm almost certain it has Bone Rush. Anyway, we'll just heal up really quick. Take a Metal Claw, no attack boost, which is great. Uh, we'll Wing Attack. And we're doing neutral damage because of Wing Attack, and he's great. He's back at. <sighs> he's back at plus one, so put him back to minus one. Take a Metal Claw. Go to damage and take a uh, Force Palm. Get paralyzed. Back to Zubat Woman. Take another Metal Claw. Gonna put him down to minus two. Or put, yeah, put the Lucario down to minus two. Back to Zubat one. <laughs> Take a Drain Punch like it's absolutely nothing. Heal up. And, uh, no attack boost, which is great. So, let's just start wing attacking now. I think I've done enough groundwork to sort of reduce him down where I'm not afraid of it. So, wing attack again and hopefully KO from that range. Nope. Of course not. Uh, let's go for another one then. And she didn't heal up. All right. Um, we won. <laughs> we won. She didn't heal up. I could have sworn she was gonna heal up there, but I shall admit to. F okay, I didn't get to read it. She said something about an minion defeat anyway. Okay, you win. That was a tough loss. I've learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. So we get the cobble badge from Maylene. That's our fourth gym badge. So we're halfway done. Um, I should explain about that official Pokemon League Gym Badge. With it, you can use the hidden move Fly outside of battle. Oh, and since you now have four Gym Badges, Pokemon obtained in trades will obey you up to level 50. Oh, and please take this as well. So we get TM60, that does contain uh, Drain Punch, I believe. And that is great, I'm going to teach that to my, uh, to my Metatite, because that will definitely help. I mean, I can get a recover, I get a recovery move, and I have huge power, so I can do a hell of a lot of damage. And then recover some health, which obviously helps. But I think. Actually, no, I can't wrap it up yet, can I? Because there's something that happens when I go outside the gym, so. There we go, we got our gym badge, and uh, Lucas is here. Hey, Stevina, listen, I need your help. Some Team Galactic goons grab my Pokedex and won't give it back. I'm sure could I sure could use your help. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouses. Please come. Alright. But yeah. I think with all this and done, guys, I pressed the wrong button. I'm gonna wrap it up here. In the next episode of Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, we are gonna be helping out Lucas with his Team Galactic problem and probably making our way towards the next city, which I'll show you where it is on the map. We are gonna be heading down Route 214, the across the Valor Lakefront, Route 213, and then making it to Pastoria City. So, there we go. That is our. Uh, that's our route, that's our next city, that's where we're gonna go. So that was done, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, hopefully you have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys for more Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke next time, so, see you guys then.